Hello guys, I'll be providing you a environments tutorial, specifically some simple backgrounds that you can add up to your characters, make them pop a little bit more, and uh, yeah, we'll jump straight into it. Okay, so first I've sketched out a couple of girls here, and we'll be looking into a couple of things that I usually use whenever I'm lazy and I don't want to do any uh, detailed environments or backgrounds. The first one would be just some girl that is with a baseball bat and she's trying to be badass and everything. I usually add some smoke in the background. We're gonna go quickly through that. I've already redrawn some of the stuff here. Things that I'm doing here are not really that difficult or anything like that. We are just trying to create a simple environment that doesn't really take too much skill. And we're pretty much done with that one. Looks a little bit cooler, I think. We're not really adding too much here. We're just creating some shapes just so that we can make it a little bit more interesting to look at and of course it, it really gives you a perspective on the character itself shows off a little bit more of a personality uh, but yeah that, that's the first one so second one uh, we will be doing some bullet holes right okay now for the third one that is really the, the the easiest one if i'm being honest and it's one of my my favorites if i'm too lazy to do a background and i do feel that the the character lacks a bit and there is definitely something that we can do in the background to make it work is I do the plus and minuses. Generally what you do is you just do plus and you do minuses. And of course, if you want, you can go with circles. And now, as far as that, I'm just trying to make it, let's say if the whole theme is cosmic or mystical, magical, something like that, that really helps out the, the, the feeling as a whole. So you just start with those all over the piece just random ones make sure not to leave them in too close to each other and boom now what you'll do is you're gonna do some circles here And if you want, you can also do a couple of dots here and there just so that you can spice things up. As I mentioned, that is really a simple way to fill out the work, but it, it just looks a lot better, at least in my opinion. And I would strongly advise for you to, to try that out on just a couple of characters, see how that works out for you. Um, but yeah, I believe that is everything for this page. Okay, so we're at a page two. I got three more examples here. We're pretty much gonna quickly go through those also. Now, first off, the first one, I am really aiming for some sort of a creepy or mysterious vibe or something like that, I guess. And I'm just gonna give you a short little uh, tutorial here. So you try to do a couple of things here. You can only use four way cross hatching, which would be like that, like that, like that, and like that. And you try to not combine the same one because it is getting a little bit weird, unless that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna start over here with uh, this uh, lovely lady here. Yeah. 
But yeah, I do believe that would be it. Next one is just uh, flowers in the wind and leaves, stuff like that. You can pretty much experiment with that a lot. And yeah, that's it. And the last one that's really simple, pretty much just a tree at the background. I usually use a black color just to mask it. And it looks a bit more ominous or, or even peaceful. It depends. Depends on what's at the, at the front ground. And there you go. Hopefully that will be helping you out in some way. Yeah, I believe that those are just a couple of cool ideas that you can try and use in your art. Hopefully that helps you out. If it helps out, great. If it doesn't, you wasted a couple of minutes of your life watching that. So I do apologize. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like that one, uh, you know, all the regular stuff like like, uh, share, subscribe, and all that. Follow me on Instagram at DivaneBG. And yeah, leave a comment with what would you like to see next. I've obviously covered a couple of things like time lapse. Um, right now I'm with a tutorial. And the first one was an introduction with a little bit of a of speaking which which I quite enjoyed and there are a couple of people that enjoyed it also so yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah take care bye bye